For many, these have been vital considerations for the future of artificial intelligence. But British computer scientist Alan Turing decided to disregard all these questions. In favor of a much simpler one, can a computer talk like a human? This question led to an idea for measuring artificial intelligence that would famously come to be known as the Turing test. In the 1950 paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, Turing proposed the following game. A human judge has a text conversation with unseen players and evaluates their responses. To pass the test, a computer must be able to replace one of the players without substantially changing the results. In other words, a computer would be considered intelligent if the conversation couldn't be easily distinguished from a human's. Turing predicted that by the year 2000, machines with 100 megabytes of memory would be able to easily pass his test. But he may have jumped the gun.
If you look at the recent research conducted on human behavior, you will be surprised about the findings. It is said that there is a correlation between human behavior and our physical feature. It was believed that genes are the only factor that determine the physical appearance. This includes height and hair color. However, the recent study showed that behavior is also another factor that can change height and hair color. The findings in the study further state that a person's habits can change the physical features of human. These findings have a tremendous impact on scientific fields such as biology, psychology, sociology and neuroscience.
researchers report that women find a man they see with an attractive woman more desirable than unattached men. That's according to a study in the journal Evolutionary Psychology. Researchers had two groups of female college students rate photos of men, all of whom had first been rated as being of average attractiveness. The first group of 148 women was shown pictures of those men with an attractive female. The subjects were told that the women in the photos were either a girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, cousin or adopted sister. And the subjects rated the men with the girlfriends as more desirable than the men shown with partners described as being exes or relatives. The second study group of 97 students were shown average looking men with an attractive woman who was described as definitely a girlfriend. And again, the women rated the men with the good looking gals as more desirable than the single guys. Plus, the attached men were thought more likely to be more intelligent, trustworthy, humorous, wealthy, and attentive. Adidas, teamed, up with an organization called Parley for the Oceans. Parley goes out and collects plastic waste from the ocean. Adidas uses the plastic waste to make shoes. Shoes made with plastic from the ocean, good for the, environment, and good for business. Because if you know that rapidly growing consumer, segment, known as hipsters, and I know you know hipsters, then you know that a hipster faced with the, choice, between a no-name shoe and an Adidas made with plastic from the ocean will pick the Adidas every day of the week and twice on Sunday, and then walk around like it's no big deal but look for every opportunity to talk about them. So two decades later, what's changed? It's now widely recognized that just 20% of health outcomes are tied to medical care, whereas up to 70% are tied to healthy behaviors and what's called the social determinants of health. Basically, everything that happens to us for that vast majority of time when we're not in the doctor's office or the hospital. Healthcare executives now routinely remind us that our zip code matters more than our genetic code. And one healthcare publication in recently had the audacity to describe the social determinants of health as the feel good buzzword of the year. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. My theme for this session is Convergence Technology Change and Business Practice. This is somewhat dear to my heart, in that I have spent much of the last 15 years involved in various aspects of technology and their impact on business, across a broad spectrum from applications of signal processing and manufacture right through to the use of utilization data and diary applications to improve the time utilization of the sales force.
Based on the strength of Earth's gravity and the density and strength of rock, in principle you could make a single conical mountain that stretched between New York and Chicago and soared over 45 kilometers. That's twice the size of Olympus Mons and definitely dwarfs Everest. However, there are a couple of reasons why we can't actually have that humongous of a mountain on Earth. For one, Earth's crust is made up of continental plates that essentially float in the semi-solid rock of the mantle below. If you add more weight above the surface, they sink lower into the Earth's hot interior, and when they sink far enough, they soften and basically melt. For our conical mountain, that gives a new height limit of just 15 kilometers. As well, the powerful collision of two tectonic plates, which creates mountains in the first place, also fractures and cracks the rock, weakening its structure and exposing it to erosion. Over millions of years, freeze-thaw cycles pry at these cracks, while winds claw at the slopes and streams and glaciers carve deep valleys into the mountainside, all weakening the mountain's support. This can end badly. For example, 3,764 meters tall A Rocky Mount Cook in New Zealand had its top fall off one night in 1991, trimming it down to a 3,754 meters mountain. Given all the factors that conspire to limit the height of mountains, for example sinking into the Earth's mantle, fractures, and erosion, I wouldn't bet on our tallest mountains getting too much taller than they already are. Since the coronavirus pandemic hit the U.S., over 40 millions of Americans have filed unemployment claims, but some benefited from the crisis already in mid-March. The largest online retailer Amazon announced its plans to hire an additional 100,000 people. A lot of other places are looking for delivery drivers and grocery stores are in constant need of employees. We have gone to a mobile world. We all are shopping online, we'll buy online, and I think that's probably going to continue. I don't think people are going to be anxious to get out to the stores anytime soon. They've learned the convenience for that. So I think e-commerce is really going to continue to grow and that means more jobs are in industry. One of the biggest surprises of the internet is we thought when the internet came out it would provide everyone new fundamental tools to learn about the world around them, and it would actually remove the censorship and information that we get. We basically all have our own responsibility to become our own filters. We have, and that's why it seems to me the educational system has to provide those tools those filtering tools. And that's one of the reasons why I think science is so important because of its built-in filtering tools. It recognizes that we all want to believe and as Richard Feynman said, the person you have to question most is yourself. Knowing that you want to believe when you read something that validates your beliefs, you should be skeptical of it and your beliefs and you should look out for other sources. So we have to train people that one source on the internet is not good enough you have to search broadly to see if it's This simulation shows what you might see if you are orbiting a black hole. The light and position of background stars around the hole are distorted by its gravity and they seem to spin around. On the right, the constellation Orion appears to approach the event horizon the boundary from which nothing can escape. Orion stars look like they become separated and get spun around. Once the hole has passed by Orion reappears on the left and looks normal again. 
users can also experiment with different scenarios. This is what you might see if you were traveling towards a black hole with rocket engines slowing your descent. Another simulation mimics free fall into a hole. In the middle, the light of the entire universe appears to be concentrated in a bright ring. Let's say if I'm asking which source you often use to get information. Newspaper? Radio? TV? And the survey shows 62% of the people chose the internet. You might be thinking I am going to say, how important the internet is, or how quickly it has changed the world for a few years. But what if I tell you this survey is conducted on the website globalandmail.com? Our answer will be different because the people who did this survey on a website must be frequent users of the internet. This sample is a biased sample. So we have to pay attention to how a survey is conducted. The Western countries' women, especially those under 30 years old, are becoming more and more reluctant to give birth to babies. However, the male status in society remains strong in recent years. The birth rates increased during the 20th century but it remains to decrease in the last two decades, reaching its historical low. In the year 2000, the birth rate remained at around 1%. There are even some negative birth rates in other countries. The birth rate dropped to its lowest point that has never been seen in history. It also has an impact on the male in society especially the young man, and it might have some connection with the unemployment rate as well. Essays are used as an assessment tool to evaluate your ability. Photography is very useful for documenting research. There is evidence the situation is already improving. The parents being busy with meeting the financial aspects of the family.